just this is this is really what it's like in here right now microphones i don't know boxes microphones i i don't i'm not going to make any excuses this is i was looking through my archives of files that i that i made because i was making a video i got some just beautiful trying to you know make a video about the the Tascam 38 and i was looking on my tons of hard drives of backups of all my YouTube files for the process of fixing this guy, which took days. And, and, and it's hard enough when you're working on something to also shoot a video about it, capturing it, that you then have to like remember and go back and edit. People don't realize that when you're making YouTube videos, you have like two streams of recording happening. You're, you're making the music and you're recording the making of the music. I was just sitting here for an hour, like backing up things, looking through everything. And I just, it just hit me what was happening. It's not just the mess, it's also, I have things that I, that I don't need, that I don't want, that I need to purge. If you see something that you like, send an email to the email address below. If I was to, to chart like creativity versus the gear, they're like inversely related a lot of the time because you, you spend hours setting it up, struggling with it. Sometimes I'll be doing something else and I get an idea. I wanna be able to just get in there and, and knock it out. I heard that John Lennon had a piano right at the entrance of his house so that when he got an idea, he could just go home, open the door, and I always wished I had a studio where everything was just set up and ready to go and all I had to do was just press a button and it would record. And I'm really, really straying away from that. A lot of the stuff is just cock blocking the creativity and there's just too many switches and levers and things to pull versus having things just set up the way I like and like making a, making decisions from the get go, having amps and stuff ready to go set up. I think that's a, a smarter way to do things. I gotta think long and hard about uh, the, the best way to do this. I don't just review any product. Like some company, I'm not knocking them, I don't mind, but they sent me like this interface. If it's like $100 and it comes with a microphone, microphone stand and interface and everything, I guess it's possible that it's good. This guitar, I forgot what it's called, but it's a Kramer. Loved it when I got it, I thought it was so cool, and I still think it sounds good. And I don't know if, if this is just, just this guitar, just a cheap guitar, but it's suffering from the worst case of neck warp. Now, a good friend of mine is a tech, he says that pretty much every neck warps a little bit, but this one is, could be the temperature in the barn, the temperature fluctu fluctuates a lot. I've had other instruments that didn't have that issue, and this neck is, the guitar is like a throwaway. It's useless. Not that I have anything to prove, even though I, I kind of do. Like, I'm constantly selling stuff. Sometimes the stuff comes in faster than it can go out. If you haven't seen my video on how to get rid of mice and rats, check it out, I'll post a link to it. Ever since I've been cohabitating with rodents, I've learned a thing or two. Never ever vacuum up mice poop because there's some crazy diseases you can get, so don't vacuum it, just sweep it up. I'm not trying to justify this. I always remember this too late. Organizing makes me feel better and it, and it makes it makes my, cleans my brain and allows me to, to see things clearly. I don't know if you're like me, but like, yeah, I just, I cannot work when it's chaotic like that. Like I pretty much lost a whole day just sitting there and wondering why I couldn't follow through with anything. This has been extremely therapeutic for me. I'm not taking this thing up there, it's disgusting. 
definitely not saying I'm going to keep it like this. This is just an experiment. I'm already noticing some benefits and some drawbacks. Some benefits are it's way easier to just walk around back and unplug things. This goes for the 388 and for all my outboard gear. If I want to patch to the 38, that's going to be a lot easier too because I don't have to, it's not a, such, such a far thing. It's just boom, boom. Uh, that can actually stay set up. I was able to put this thing here to get the drums even more kind of separated. And uh, it's just a nice change of pace. Uh, it's a nice change of pace to be in a different spot. I can take advantage of the room acoustics when I'm recording acoustic guitars. I can be over here and get different different zones, different vibes. I can always jump back there and record some acoustic guitar in that little nook if I want a little tighter sound. And some drawbacks are that, you know, cable management is going to be, I don't even know, like I need like a Thunderbolt cable. Is It needs to be longer. This... I don't think this a 388 should be on that table. Who knows if it's going to support it. Previously, like all the cables were just like hidden in the corner so you couldn't see anything. It made it a pain in the butt to change, but it was also like kind of tighter. Right under this, I should build a ladder up there so that when I'm doing stuff, I can just walk up the ladder. I mean, sonically, the main reason I was over there was because sonically it was like a tighter, probably even here on the camera, just being like, three feet away, you're gonna hear way more room tone. You know, mixing is gonna be totally different right here. There wasn't a wall behind it previously, even though I have space. Yeah, I don't know. This is just, I don't know what I'm doing. I just was, I was going crazy. I mean, the next time a session comes in, I will be able to test it out and see if it's any good. Or maybe I'll just do one and we'll see what it sounds like.